So, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we have a quickie. Uh, I've just been redoing the pneumatic system in the shop and uh, I came across these uh, John Guest Speed Fit uh, compressed air fittings, which I thought were quite handy. Uh, the basic gist of it is that it's this push fit system where you just chuck the pipe in using some force, wiggle it about and then it locks and you can push it all the way home and then it's there, locked for all the world. Uh, and if you want to take it apart, it's just pushing the collar back and pulling at it. Uh, these happen to be 22 mil, I think they make 28 and 15 mil at least but I'll point me at that. And uh, I couldn't find quite a lot of info online. There's like a lot of marketing wank, but nothing really proper about how to install this. And in my opinion, these are really great because this is two mil, uh, millimeter wall thickness uh, nylon tubing that can be quite easily cut with one of these. This happens to be John Guest branded one, uh, quite cheap. And it's just a blade that you just put it in like that and push down. And quite slowly and surely it severs the pipe. Uh, and if you don't do it left handed in front of a camera you might even get a straight cut with it. It's not that hard actually. But as you can see. Uh, they work by having these, I don't know if you can, camera can pick it up, but there's a, these small razor blade barbs that catch the pipe and then there's an o-ring that seals around the perimeter. So if you don't use those cutters, I've made the whole system already and I didn't have any problems, but if you cut these with something else, like a bandsaw or something, then you might want to deburr. Uh, the internal edge is mostly for uh, flow. So you might want to deburr that so you don't get a lot of crap in your air system. But the outside edge is the one you want to pay attention to because that, otherwise that's going to chowder up the O-ring inside that seals it. Um, they make a lot of different connectors. This is a butt fitting to join two pieces of pipe, either end. Um, quite self-explanatory. Then there's the T-fitting, similar deal. Uh, then there's the the, I might show this one. Uh, these wall boxes. That is an all aluminium one. For the 22 mil, you want the uh, three quarter BSP uh, tread on top for joining it to the pipe. For that, they make another fitting that treads in there and seals with an O ring now against the flat here. And then you have half inch, pretty standard pipe tread three outlets for you to choose from and this works very nicely this is a pretty hefty I don't know like uh, almost half kilo brick of aluminium so that's rather nice and they have nice uh, holes for you to bolt it to the to the wall and rather nicely machined on the inside actually if you I don't know so it's rather nice and smooth on the inside so it doesn't shouldn't limit airflow that much um, so yeah, that's there. Uh, they also make these uh, wall hangers for them, for different tube sizes that just chuck on and then they close like that. These are really nice too. You can easily fit your uh, whole shop out with. And if you want to run several lines, I don't know what kind of shop you have that you need to run parallel pneumatic lines, but if you want oiled and not oiled, I guess. Then there's these clips. On both ends you can tie them together which is rather nice I at least think they're rather clever talent deco I don't know if I don't know if John Guest actually makes these but these are rather nice um, yeah a couple of pointers with these on every fitting you'll see this uh, line in the plastic and when you want to measure out your pipe work you come up to this line and that's how far the pipe 
inserts into the, the fitting approximately. So that goes to M approximately. So that way. Or to the R. Well, you can see. So it comes a bit slightly short of that. So that's a nice handy way to know where to cut your pipe because this nylon pipe when it's in the standard three meter lengths it's rather flexible so you can you can uh, easily like bend it around and cut it so that's rather nice i think that's a really nice feature couldn't find it in the documentation so i don't know but they do put it on every fitting so i guess that's the general insertion depth uh, they also make like reducers if you want to go from 22 mil to a uh, half inch male tread there's a reducer for that uh, uh, so that can fit into here, otherwise it's half inches, 15 mil, and the 22 is the three quarter inch. Uh, so yeah, it's really nice. Uh, didn't have any major leaks. Uh, the only leak I could find after doing the whole shop was one of these plugs weren't tightened so the O-ring didn't seal, but that's the only thing. So for complete amateur, it's rather nice. Uh, another thing you need to pay attention to is that when you first air push these together, the collets will be, or the collars here will be uh, butted up like this. But when you pressurize it, they actually slide out around a millimeter. And I have a six meter pipe run with several fit inline fittings, four or something. So that added like a centimeter to, to the whole system, uh, which uh, kind of... Uh, uh, screwed up my measurements a bit <laughs> so I just had to slice a little bit out of the end wasn't too bad job just unclipped and off I went uh, but yeah so keep that in mind uh, if you're doing a really long run with then with for example T's that uh, go up the wall you might want to pressurize the main line so it expands and then do your uh, risers or downlets uh, that way. They also make a fitting that separates water if you're doing uh, your main trunk up high and you come down for the for the outlet boxes. Uh, then they have one that has a uh, water separator built in. Uh, my main run is at the bottom so I just put the, the pipe with a slight drop to a point where I have a water separator but, uh, but yeah. So that's rather neat. Um, yeah. So do keep that in mind, otherwise it's a really nifty system, I really like it. They aren't terribly expensive either, this was like 7 euros for this T fitting, I think this, these straight fittings were uh, 5 euros or something. And I, I can't remember what the wall boxes were, but probably significantly more, but still not terribly expensive if you compare it to making it like out of, uh, I don't know, copper pipe or something. And that's, this is 22 mil bore, I think. Uh, hang on. Let me measure that quickly for you. Now it's 22 outer diameter, so it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's like approximately 18 mil internal bore, but that's quite a, a nice, uh, a nice air system you got there. Then, ah. so yeah, I was really pleased with these, and since there's no videos on how to this John Guest speed fit uh, uh, compressed air fittings work on the internet except the usual marketing stuff, uh, I thought I'd make a small video about it. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I have a lot of more content planned, trying to get them out uh, as soon as possible, but, uh, you know, workshop renovations do take priority uh, due to expenditure and whatnot. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this quick one, and uh, yeah, if you're in the market for pneumatic systems, uh, give the John Guest system a go. I really enjoyed working with it at least. Ah, one more thing, these. Uh, since this pipe is very flexible, it's easy to get like a kink in it when you air it up because you didn't account for the, the small expanding of the fittings. Um, so I'd say half a meter between those. That's what, uh, one and a half foot, so 18 inches, don't quote me that, but approximately 18 inches apart was rather nice for me uh, for the 22 mil pipe. 
it still tends to bow if you don't get them perfectly aligned but you know you just air it down flip them open twist tug on it a bit and you can usually even it out so it looks rather nice so yeah uh, they also make brass fittings which i used for the air inlet from my compressor so then i used a, a brass uh, fitting with a brass uh, male three quarter inch tread to go through straight to compressor i don't know why they'd happen to have just 122 mil in stock so i thought oh well i just nabbed that because i know how to make that seal uh, at least but as i said this o-ring stuff on these boxes worked to treat so i don't know but i felt felt nicer to have the brass fitting where the air enters the system but yeah that's about it um hope you enjoyed uh, and i'll see you next time cheerio